the new presentation is essentially a silent rebellion against uh, uh, the Kek others, the spiritual, social, religious, social, um, political, and and even the ethical uh, aspects that have been that have an top lining uh, just about everyone. And I find that one can destroy these chains by uh, breaking agreements in, a con that in accordance with the view that uh, no matter the situation, one can always decide to decide otherwise. I see statements like, uh, till death do us part, a gentleman keeps his word, and uh, a statement like uh, Richard Murbury's, uh, do all you have you have agreed to do as some kind of tab lining agreements uh, if you place this in the context of the eastness uh, where one can't be static but always evolving with the circumstances of life so what do you think about being new and becoming a social and uh, ethical outcast It's always an interesting position, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so, again, I'm uh, very aware of that. And uh, I'm going to go back to your original statement here, which is very good. Um, and that is uh, about the rebellion idea. We are the silent rebellion. Well, okay, and I will answer it in this way. If someone were to ask me this, are you, are you guys the silent rebellion? Or are you this or that or whatever? I'm, you're going to be asked that question. Uh, that does come up. And I would say... Uh, to that, basically, if if making sense is a rebellion, then that is us. You see? It's just very simple. Uh, we make sense. That's all. And so, again, uh, the officials here that control everyone, they're always going to put words in a particular way that keep people uh, one-dimensionalized. And so uh, with the natural environment and what we're doing and what we're sharing and everything I'm sharing, I'm only uh, simply sharing uh, realistically when you look at it. And they already know this, but they're still going to throw, uh, they're still going to try and do something to trip uh, us up and others because they want to keep them one dimensional. They don't want people to become more aware. They really don't want to. And so, again, this is just what we'll always have to deal with. And they're going to look for justification. Uh, they're just going to label it, well, you're a rebellion. You're not obeying the laws or whatever. But actually, we do. I stop at stop signs. And, you know, I pay the rent. And uh, you know what? I like the utility companies, et cetera. So, you know, there are likes there. And, yeah, I don't do likes on Facebook all the time. So they could get me for that. You know, I do leave comments and pictures. But I don't always leave likes. And they could come to that. You see? So again, they could watch everything you do. But again, uh, when it comes to this rebellion idea, yeah, we just simply make sense of, of whatever's taking place. That's all. So instead of, you know, I would say to the government officials, as an example, let's say you're talking to them, um, it would it makes more sense to us that, you know, we keep the skies clear and without encumbrances as opposed to chemtrails and all the other things that you guys think are, you know, great sounding ideas but on the other hand you have the right to decide whatever you will you have free will and this is why we're all here we all have free will we came down here to figure out whatever okay and so you guys can do whatever you want but you know to us uh, clear skies make sense uh, so again if that's a rebellion because all of a sudden we recognize what you're doing by destroying everything in the atmosphere well then okay you can classify it that way you you decide doesn't matter we're fine we're fine with everything so that's kind of uh, that's kind of an idea there something like that Charles was I close with that are you on mute again yeah yeah oh, oh there you uh, go I was on mute uh-huh uh, which means that um, 
we can uh, we can be somehow unethical according to the standards of this world um, uh, break agreements because we live in the in the isness and uh, and just be fine because we no longer see uh, some of these agreements as binding, as making any sense uh, uh, the present. And in this, in this, in this, in this regard, uh, people can look at, at us as very strange, and very unreliable, very unreliable, and all that. So. Uh, I fear the, the the point where one becomes uh, a sort of uh, of law unto himself uh, or an outlaw. So becoming becoming no becoming. Uh, uh, something different than what you you were before. Uh, does it put one in this awkward position, or what is one supposed to do? Because uh, you have to live in this world. So I don't I don't. It's it's I'm really in a, in a quagmire. Uh, yeah, well concerning. that's your that's your. I'm going to interrupt you here. That's your personal self. Okay, that's your personal mind questioning itself uh, according to what has been created, you see? <clears throat> and again, when these things come up, when they come up with me all the time, uh, and that is is that uh, whatever person, whatever the other person decides, I'm fine with it. I'm not here to oppose it. I'm not here to talk them out of it, etc. I'm fine with it. It's a choice. They make a choice. I make a choice. And so, uh, a good example <clears throat> of agreements is marriage. Hey, the church has tried to make it binding because they created the marriage idea. It wasn't the birds and the bees, uh, even though people tell stories about these things. Uh, they're kind of cute and funny. Get the kids to giggle about them, and eventually they get married. And it's like, oh, it's all about the birds and the bees. Is it really? No, it's not all at all. It's all about control and who really created the marriage agreement. And so let's let's pick on the Catholic Church as the biggie here because they're the world controllers with the Vatican. Uh, and that is what's the idea of a marriage agreement um, when you're with the church, and that is you're not to get divorced. So I'm sure we've seen uh, many of us seen many movies about how. How is it? It's perplexing, and this is where the individual becomes uh, rather creative. Has to be. How do I get out of? Uh, how do they get out of the divorce? That uh, so again, if if the other party has maybe like an accident, you know, supposedly, and they're no longer here. Well, gee, all of a sudden, uh, you know, you're out of the divorce. Well, this has happened many times, isn't it? So it's very clever of them to create a contract to where people become have to become devious because they just can't step up to the illusion that's been made and say hey I don't I don't need to be married because the church says so so they got to think of these other ways which entraps them and gives them more karma to come back here and the church just laughs the Calum God just laughs it's like ah we tricked him again he'll be back for more lifetimes paying for that demise of his of his partner whatever okay so again um, Yes, things are done and redone constantly because, again, it's that would be like staying in the first grade forever. You've agreed to be a first grader, uh, and at some point, uh, you know, sometimes there's tears with your teacher. It's like, oh, you know, you were my favorite student. I don't want you to leave. And the kid can say, okay, teach, I'll just stay here forever with you. All right, we'll grow all together. Does that make sense? So, again, it's making sense. The whole of life, the isness. Like the sun shining, 
is not concerned about any of the personal decisions we make. It really is not concerned. Those are your decisions and how you live your life as you always have. So you decide to keep the agreements or not keep them. It's all up to you. It's not about according to the social structure. Again, this is how people have been one dimensionally framed. But if you want to agree with what you're agreeing to because of the social structure, well, that's fine too. See, however you do it, it's fine. So when people make statements of any order, I just go, okay, have fun. Because again, I'm not going to interfere with their deciding, and it's always a personal decision. But when you see the bigger picture, the whole of life, the isness, you'll see that you don't need agreements to anything. You're a free being of real light already, and that you can see others the same way, and at the same time, they make choices. So maybe they like you or they don't. Maybe you're socially accepted or you're not. I'm really not, for the most part. Most people, more people question what I'm doing then uh, agree to some of the things that I'm saying or expressing. That's fine with me. I'm not looking for friends. That's not the idea. But as people step up, yes, I'm here for them, you know, but I, I, I cannot live their life or decide for them. So it really, it's really getting down to making sense, isn't it, Charles? And so this is the fun challenge. And this is what perks you up every day. It's not just the coffee you have and the the medication you're taking or whatever I'm just I'm just uh, having fun with that which a lot of people do the first thing in the morning or whatever they do turn on the news or whatever they're charged by that but again it's the challenge every moment to become more aware this is the cool thing of recognizing the is and what is taking place here all over the earth and I like the challenge and the confrontation because it perks me up and at the same time hey lucky me now I know all these people that also want this challenge and to take the risk, you know. And at times, yeah, we do. It's like, oh, I don't know if I should do this or whatever. But, yeah, you know, I get that too. But I still, you know, if it makes sense, if I can justifiably make sense of it, well, I will look for ways to do it. And sometimes it's like, oh, no, you shouldn't have done that. Okay, now we got to fix it. It's like, but anything can be fixed. And so... Uh, it's so like I said, what people put out there, I, I suggest you do it with, you know, making sense of it the best you can. But at the same time, I'll deal with it. You know, I'm not going to police other people, and the boys are the same way. But with the whole of life, these agreements that we've made, yes, sometimes things happen. And sometimes, uh, you know, we have to do a little of this or a little of that, be creative. And it, uh, it doesn't always come out right. You'd like it to, but... You know, look at what we've done in our past lifetimes where we've been on the battlefield and we've destroyed each other. Well, we're not doing that. And so by the very fact that we're commenting on anything here or sharing, really what we're, share what we're doing is sharing. It's not so much comments, but it's called comments like on Facebook. But we're really sharing something. You know, we're not on the battlefield anymore. Uh, which there are many places in the world that are, we're not doing that. So we've learned from all of that, and we've refined it a whole lot. So we're doing good. So what is the worst that someone can say about us or you or whatever? It's just words, so we can handle that. And we can make sense of it, and we can learn to see through all of this discussion you're able to see what's coming at you. Because for us in the world... The world is always coming at us. The more we've created, the more it comes at us because it's all cause and effect and we have to deal with it. Well, and some people are still thinking, well, I don't want to deal with it, so I want protection. You see, so we're back to what you asked earlier. Well, again, all of us have contributed to the creation of things here and the ideas and what have you. So we want to be able to face them. That's all it is. And then we're fine. And we don't, we really don't, the, you might say the protection is automatic. It's all okay. See, everything becomes okay once we just step up and recognize that it is. This is so cool about it. And then we get on with this endless adventure. So in the meantime, we do these things and nothing is perplexing. So at, at, at certain times it is because we're discussing these things with our, ourselves. And I know. And sometimes I start talking to other people. And at the same time, uh, you know, things start to resolve themselves accordingly, little by little. And pretty soon, we really start to uh, see how 
the isness life is makes sense always like the sun shining as opposed to all these questions and ideas we have about the personal self but we don't stop doing that because the personal self as long as it has a life here just like your clock ticking uh, or anything uh, it's still going until it doesn't and so like the old saying your ticker okay uh, etc and it's it's along the same lines but it's all okay because there's always more to see and, and the bigger picture is it's you getting out of the me 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 thing like we did in the spiritual past it's all about me 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 oh I want my next initiation oh I want enlightenment I want this experience forget all that you know look at the world and look at all the people that really are looking for what we already know I would say focus there and uh, that becomes even better now you're standing more real with the the real guides because this is what life is all about see it from the isness life is more so than just your personal view how is it the isness is viewing all life because it's about survival to where everyone is involved and you forget the me 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 thing and pretty soon it's like oh this is so cool this is bliss I don't need the little self anymore you know it can just like you know float away just like vaporize and so again that becomes our real awareness so we can bring our real awareness into this because it's uh, it's an isness now it's not going anywhere this is universal positioning it is an isness now to where you see it now you don't have to close your eyes you don't even have to sing new you anymore you just be isness you see but it does help the personal self uh, focus etc when you do the new you when you uh, read the new books when you attend the groups when you talk to others along the same lines yes it helps reinforce that because there's so much to our personal self yeah and it's so cool we have this opportunity now lucky us look at what you've been through even with the corporation you know do you want to drag any of that with you is any of it essential now you see what you know what you don't need okay so you have to recognize that too you have to recognize what you do not need it's all essential and so the best adventure is to recognize this instance and to see who else wants to step up and wake up and so this eventually becomes being to being this is so cool we're all just beings of light and yeah that's very possible but big journey anyhow um, that's the short of the answer Charles Go ahead.